7 Dangerous Diabetes Nighttime Signs You Should Know These are signs we all should be in tune with, especially if you or someone you care about is dealing with diabetes. Imagine diabetes as a sneaky nighttime visitor, always keeping us on our toes. When the sun goes down, it can bring along some peculiar companions. Recognizing these signals is like knowing your way home in the dark. So, let's dive into 7 dangerous signs that pop up when the lights go out because diabetes never takes a break. You might be surprised by number 1. But let's start with number 7, night sweats. Now, these are not your average sweats you get from a tough workout. We're talking about the kind that drenches your PJs even when your bedroom feels like an igloo. For folks with diabetes, this can be a flashing neon sign for something called nocturnal hypoglycemia which is just a fancy way of saying low blood sugar at night. Lots of things can trigger these sweats, from certain meds and heavy-duty insulin to what you ate during the day or a super energetic evening workout. So, what's the deal? Night sweats mess with your beauty sleep for sure, but they're also like your body's way of saying, hey, sugar levels are dropping too low. To tackle these nighttime floods, you've got to be the blood sugar detective. Check those levels, watch out for what might be causing it, and chat with your healthcare buddy if you need to adjust your meds. And here's a pro tip, keep some sugar close, like glucose tablets or juice, just in case your blood sugar decides to go on a midnight rollercoaster ride. Next up, number 6, Restless Leg Syndrome, or RLS for short. Now, this is when your legs seem to have a mind of their own, making you want to wiggle them around and they might even give you some tingling or itching sensations. It's like having those ants in your pants moments, especially when you're trying to catch some sleep. For people with diabetes, there's a connection between RLS and something called peripheral neuropathy, which is a common issue when your blood sugar levels are high for a long time. So, what can you do about it? Well, here's the lowdown, keeping your blood sugar in check can help prevent neuropathy and might ease those restless legs. Also, consider cutting back on caffeine and booze, as they can stir up RLS. Gentle exercises are a friend, not too intense though, or it could backfire. And if your legs are really acting up, try giving them a good massage or using warm or cool packs. Even a bit of meditation might do the trick. The name of the game is finding what calms those legs down when they're in party mode. Alright, number 5 in our lineup, Nighttime Hypoglycemia. It's a fancy term for when your blood sugar decides to go on a nighttime roller coaster, but you're snoozing and have no idea. Sneaky, right? For folks with diabetes, this is like a ninja problem. You might not notice it, but it can lead to some nasty stuff like night sweats, crazy dreams, or even waking up with a head pounder. And if it gets really bad, it can even bring on seizures or make you pass out. How do we deal with this nighttime sneak? Well, step one is to keep an eye on your blood sugar, especially before hitting the hay. If it's low, munch on a snack with carbs to keep it from crashing in the middle of the night. Now, here's where the diabetes detective skills come in. You might need to chat with your doctor about tweaking your insulin or other meds so they don't pull a nighttime surprise on you. And here's a tip, keep some fast-acting glucose stuff nearby, like gels or tablets, so you can tackle those sneaky lows pronto. And don't forget to teach your buddies or family about the signs of severe hypoglycemia and how to give you a hand if things get dicey. Teamwork can save the day, or should I say, the night. Now, let's chat about number 4, sleep apnea. It's like a sleep hiccup, where your breathing takes these little breaks or gets all shallow while you're snoozing. Not exactly the recipe for a restful night, right? For people with diabetes, this can be a bit of a double whammy. See, messed up sleep and low oxygen levels can team up to make your body less friendly to insulin, which is a big deal in diabetes land. Plus guess what? Being on the heavier side can cozy you up to both sleep apnea and type 2 diabetes. Here's the game plan, first, shedding even a little weight can make a big difference. It can help ease those sleep apnea symptoms. If you need quick relief, there's this nifty gadget called a CPAP machine that keeps your airways open at night. Now, for some lifestyle tweaks. Skip the booze and sleeping pills, they're like lullabies for your airway muscles, and we don't want that. Try sleeping on your side instead of your back, 
it keeps things open down there. Remember, sleep apnea and diabetes are kind of like pals who cause trouble together. But managing one can help you deal with the other, leading to better blood sugar and a whole lot more sleep high fives. Okay folks, let's dive into number 3, Nighttime Frequent Thirst. You know that feeling when you're parched, even in the middle of the night? It's like your body's sending an SOS for a drink. For people with diabetes, this thirst is like a signal flare. See, when your blood sugar is too high, it's like a magnet for water, pulling it out of your cells. And what do you do when you've got too much water? You gotta go, right? Yep, that's why you're making those nighttime trips to the bathroom. So, what's the game plan? Well, step one is to be the blood sugar boss, keep those levels in check. Your doctor can help you with that. And don't be shy about sipping water during the day to stay hydrated. Here's the trick, try not to guzzle down a lake of water before bedtime. Spread your fluid intake throughout the day. And, if you can, cut back on caffeine and alcohol, they can make you even thirstier. Remember, nighttime thirst is like your body's way of saying, hey, we've got some sugar trouble here. So, pay attention, keep those levels in check, and you'll be on your way to sweeter dreams. Let's talk about number two, nighttime cramps. You know those sudden muscle squeezes that make your legs feel like they're playing a cruel joke on you? Yep, those are the ones we're talking about. For folks with diabetes, these cramps can be like a regular unwanted visitor. They can show up because your blood sugar is misbehaving, either too high or too low. Or it could be because your blood isn't flowing as it should, or you've got that tricky thing called diabetic neuropathy from sugar levels being too high for too long. Now, how do we kick these cramps to the curb? First and foremost, it's all about being the blood sugar champ. Keep those levels steady with your meds and regular checks. Here's a move you can try, gentle stretches before bedtime, especially for those calf muscles. It's like giving them a little pre-sleep workout. Stay hydrated too, it helps keep your mineral balance in check. And hey, comfy shoes can be your best buds, supporting those legs during the day. If cramps keep bugging you, warm baths or heating pads can be your go-to saviors. Last but not least, number one, nocturia. Now, that might sound like a mouthful, but it's basically when you find yourself making midnight trips to the bathroom more often than you'd like. It's like your body's way of saying, hey, something's not right. For folks dealing with diabetes, it's like a red flag. You see, your body tries to kick out extra sugar through your urine when your blood sugar is too high. So, if you're constantly waking up at night to answer nature's call, it's not just messing with your sleep, it's also a sign that your blood sugar might be out of whack. So, what can you do about it? Well, two simple tricks can help. 1. Keep an eye on your blood sugar regularly. And 2. Watch how much you drink before bedtime. But if this bathroom meetup keeps happening, don't hesitate to chat with a healthcare pro. There might be more to the story. Understanding these signs is your first step in keeping diabetes under control. When you spot nighttime symptoms like frequent bathroom trips or low blood sugar, you're in the driver's seat, ready to act. This not only helps you sleep better but also keeps your diabetes game strong. If you or someone you know experiences these symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. They can provide the guidance and support you need on your diabetes journey. And if you want to learn more diabetes wisdom, check out this video on 7 diabetic symptoms you must recognize. And if you found this video helpful, give that subscribe button a tap. Thanks for tuning in, 